What's going on, guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Just me and Chuck. I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about some breaking news that really is amazing to me. Before we get to the news, gameplay is The Last of Us Part 1, if you can't tell. Um, you know, it's really funny. This game came out in 2013 initially, uh, a long time ago. And um, I really forgot how good it was. <laughs> And when I played through it again, it brought back all the memories uh, of what these two people went through, the perilous journey they went through. And, and seeing it realized fully on the PS5 was just fucking amazing. Just amazing. I remember now why I named my daughter Ellie. Awesome stuff. Elon Musk, guys. Elon Musk has bought Twitter. Now, I don't know. I think tomorrow it's going to be totally official, but TMZ reported on it today that Elon Musk has you know, pretty much finalized the deal. And Twitter belongs to him. There's videos of him on the internet at Twitter headquarters, uh, surrounded by a bunch of doting employees who all look like they're crapping their pants because these are the same people who are talking shit about Elon Musk uh, on the internet for the last, God, for the last couple of months, talking about, hey, this guy will never own Twitter. Oh, he's a fascist. Uh, if he ever owns Twitter, I'm going to quit. Yeah, now they realize, oh, uh, duh. If, if he's now my boss, I need to make a paycheck. Maybe it's time to bow down and kiss the ring. So. It is what it is. Now, Elon Musk, he man, to have that kind of money, have that kind of power, that kind of pool, to buy a social media company, and not some startup, one that's been established for a decade, it's pretty fucking incredible this man was able to do this. Of course, he mentioned it. Yeah, he actually did a, did a poll on Twitter months ago, and I was at my old employer, and uh, he asked, hey, do you think that Twitter is fair to, you know, both sides of the political parties? Do you think that they're silencing some people and not others? And then he asked, do, do you think I should buy Twitter and, and make it free, and make it so people can actually speak? And everybody said, yeah. I didn't believe he'd actually do it. And then he started, you know, making rumblings about the idea. He, he actually put out an, a dollar amount. And I was like, holy crap. And then, of course, the whole kerfuffle of him going back and forth, trying to figure out how many bots they had. Uh, Twitter did their own little investigation, said they had 5% bots. He said, no, there's a lot more. Then lawsuits start flying. And when I saw the lawsuits, Twitter, you know, suing him for a billion dollars, I said, well, he's definitely not going to buy it now. Uh, the silence wins. You know, these people who like to silence dissent are going to win. Ultimately, you know, <laughs> somehow Elon decided he went back to the original price to buy Twitter and he actually bought Twitter. It's unreal. And he did it for what seems to be altruism, altruistic perspective. Of course, he's a businessman, a billionaire. So, you know, it's not just altruism, it's money. But he said he wants to make it so people can speak. And he wants to make it so that people who have differing opinions are able to voice those opinions because ultimately, that's what our freedoms are. First Amendment is the freedom of speech. And that should be protected. We should all be willing to lay down and die for a person's right to say something that we don't like because that's the speech that should be protected. You don't have to protect speech that everybody loves. You don't have to you know, pr protect you know, Christmas carols or the happy birthday song or saying I love you to someone because everybody loves that. So it doesn't need protection. So you're supposed to protect the speech that people don't like. So the people in Silicon Valley, you know, the Facebooks, the YouTubes, the Googles, these these people are, are far left individuals and they have perspectives that, you know, hate speech is a real thing, that you can't say anything is going to, you know, offend people. And if you do, you need to be silenced from the town square. And, and Elon Musk, luckily for many people, sees the town, town square as Twitter, which I do myself. And, and I've been banned from Twitter you know, numerous times. I got banned on Twitter years ago for talking shit to Rosie O'Donnell. She got me banned first before anybody else. I got banned um, uh, numerous times for having uh, discussions with people who are LGBTQ, transgender, and, and talking about children and things like that. I've been banned for having my Christian perspectives, my heterosexual perspective. Because if I tell a person I'm straight on Twitter, they'll say it's hate speech against people who aren't. I'm like, what? This is insane. And so Elon Musk decided to open it up to let people, you know, say what they want to say. And the beauty of it is, if you are a person with a differing perspective and you don't like what a person's saying, you can block them. You can be the adult. We don't need some gods or overlords to ban us from the town square to be able to speak at all. If a person says something that you don't like, like, I mean, I've been on Twitter and, and had people say racist shit to me, you know, and, and, you know, I'm a grown man. I mean, shit, it's, it's America, freedom of speech. People say dumb shit all the time. But when people do that, what do I do? I ban, I block them. I don't try to get them blocked from ever speaking. You know, they can say what they want to say, but I don't have to hear it. And that's really what it should be. And that's what Elon's trying to do. 
I don't know what, exactly what's going to happen, how good it's going to be or how bad it's going to be. I, I honestly believe it's going to be better because it doesn't, it can't get any worse. You know, it can't get any worse when you're, you're banning politicians, you're banning conservatives, you're banning people who speak up and, and, and for their children and say, you know, I don't want my children being exposed to this. And people say that's hate speech. But you, you're, you're allowing terrorist organizations like Al Qaeda and stuff on there and ISIS and all this kind of crap. It seems like a hypocritical standard to say the least. And so for me, it's a really good thing that Elon has done this. Uh, I think the government will probably try to come after him. You already hear a bunch of leftists already calling the guy a fascist. And to me, that just, it reeks of the modern leftist dogma that's been spewed into the ears of these college age kids. They don't even know what fascism is. A person is trying to free people and allow people to be free to say what they want to say. It's called the fascist because he won't shut people up that you don't want to hear? It's insane. I don't, I, you know, I can't believe what's happened to these young people nowadays. I'm very, very blessed that my children, you know, both of my, oh, my grown sons are conservative. Both of my grown sons are critical thinkers. I'm so happy. I'm raising my four here at home, my wife, to be the same way. Uh, I think the government will probably try to get Elon. They'll probably try to bang him up, do something to Twitter. We already saw what happened with Parler, the other social media site similar to Twitter, when uh, Amazon, Twitter, and Google, they worked together to ban Parler from being on the internet because they were on Amazon servers. So Jeff Bezos kicked Parler completely off the internet for over a month. And they had millions of subscribers and, and, and uh, users. And of course, they never recovered because of this collusion against people who had dissenting perspectives. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know they tried to do something similar to that to Elon Musk and his Twitter. But the thing I'm, I'm excited to see all these people who said they were going to kick rocks when Elon takes over, where are you? They're still on Twitter talking shit. Still on Twitter talking. Elon's the boss now. They're going to stick around. And guess what? I want them to stick around because I want to be able to say my piece to them without getting banned by Twitter, without getting banned by the algorithm. I want to be able to say what I want to say without getting kicked off the damn service. And I think that's good for everybody. You guys let me know what you think. Have you ever been banned off Twitter? What did you say on Twitter to get banned? If you can say it, say it in the comments. Let me know what you said to somebody on Twitter that got you banned. Do you think Elon Musk is going to, you know, reactivate these banned accounts and let people have their accounts back because my Beastly Gamer account is gone forever? Damn you, Rosie. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good thing for freedom? Do you think it's a bad thing for freedom? Let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, like the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, and I'll see you guys next time.